side of the home. This is the back side of the home. Sun's in our eyes nice and good. No, this roof has too much pitch on it. I'm, I'm not going to walk it. It's too much pitch for me, that's for sure. Uh, we'll get a camera pole out here in a little bit. And the camera pole will go around and take a look at this. But I just want to kind of share something. And my feet are wet, the ground is saturated. I mentioned that as well. See how these shingles lay on top of each other? They can't escape down so the water runs down like this. Now, underneath the shingles, we have an underlay. Okay. I can find one around here. No, I can't, but there's an underlayment. When that underlayment comes down, it's underneath the shingles. It helps with the uh, fire rating. It protects the roof before the shingles are installed. But if any water gets through the shingles, then that water hits the underlayment, which travels down the underlayment. And then the underlayment is on top of this drip edge flashing. It cascades on top of the drip edge flashing. Now see this drip edge flashing, this metal flashing in there? It's in turn is supposed to cascade over the rain gutters, the back of the rain gutter. Okay, the rain gutter is not supposed to be in front of the drip edge flashing. You think water can get in between there? And if it gets in between there, it's between the rain gutter and your fascia board. So it causes the damage. So the drip edge flashing is supposed to be installed over the back of the rain gutter.